Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm okay. Look, I'm really sorry to hear about you and Naomi. No, it's 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 okay. You know, I'll be I'll, I'll be fine. And I'm not my brother. I'm not gonna kill myself or anything. Good. No, I'm uh, I'm busying myself. You know, Good. I've, I've signed up for a few classes online. What? Trump University. What? Yeah, have you heard about this? He's got this university online. All the classes are only two weeks, and, and it teaches you how to be a total businessman. In you know, two, in yeah. two weeks? Well, yeah, because I was thinking after I negotiated that deal with my parents' house, I figured, you know, I got some savvy business skills. So I'm, my first one starts tomorrow, the essentials of entrepreneurship. Well, good for you, you know. Tomorrow, you know what? Tomorrow the day me and the McLaughlins are doing the Mr. Funzo Silly Schoolhouse. It's gonna be huge. What no are you way. laughing at? It's no, that's awesome. great. It's, it's national just... TV. No, it's perfect. I mean, I mean, I mean, agents could be watching. Managers. Producers? You're gonna be a big star. Yeah. Ha. What? <laughs> hey, sweetheart. How are you? Oh, good. 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 Wow. Look at you. You're all done up. Uh, yeah, thanks. Those extensions, or what? is that a wig? Or? Listen, you and I need to talk about the wedding pronto, because, you know, it's in two weeks, and I, I don't want to do the limo anymore. Everyone does a limo from the church. I think we should do a Rolls Royce. Okay, Meg, I appreciate your diligence on this. I think you're an amazing wedding planner. What did you just call me? <laughs> Meg, I appreciate your diligence, but I don't want to talk about weddings anymore. I'm Ritu. You just, you just called me Meg. Thank you so much for taking care of my daughter on Friday. You did oh, it was a pleasure. Job. She's such a sweetie. Thanks. But you really didn't have to clean the whole house. Oh. I mean, that was too much. No, no. The home office, I was just, it was like you went was, over it with a fine tooth comb. It was so neat and tidy. And I was waiting up. <laughs> you know, I, I, I wanted to be awake when you got home, and uh, <laughs> I know how, you know, how hard you've been working. I didn't want you to have to worry about another thing. It was, it's no big deal at all. Well, it was hardly anything. I just sort of, you know, I have no idea where I was putting stuff, just kind of tucked it all away, made it look neat. Right. Yeah, well, you I, did a great job. Thanks. I have to tell you something that Ruthie did. Okay. She, um, we were brushing her teeth, and she took her little sippy cup, and she spat water in my face afterwards. You're kidding. <laughs> and I laughed, which I shouldn't have done, because <laughs> I didn't encouraged her, and she did it like another 20 times. But That's fantastic. She's so cute. Oh, I couldn't you resist. You know what that means? She likes you. Really? Yeah. Oh, I hope yeah, so. good. I hope so. Well, you're a lifesaver, and I really appreciate what you did. Yeah, absolutely. It was no problem at all. It's my pleasure. I hope you didn't have to stay up too late. I'm sorry it was late. I did not stay up too late at all. No. It was well worth the wait. It was a fantastic weekend. Mm. Yes, it was. Thank you. Are we going to get a chance to do it again sometime soon? Hmm. Let's see. My schedule's free for tonight. Oh, that's good. Because yeah. uh, I had a little something in mind. Okay. I thought maybe a little uh, something different. A little tribute to Star Wars. <laughs> okay. I could dress up as Princess Leia. Hmm? Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Can this train go any faster? <laughs> Bodily functions are part of life, so why is my mommy mad? I said, hey, 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 hey! Come here, come here, yeah. come here, come here! How you doing, hey, buds? Hey, Johnny. Sit down, sit down. I got some tunes. I need you to tell me which one you like best, all right? Some Check tunes? this one out. Yeah, listen, listen, all right? Some tunes I'm working on, all right? All right. All right. Bodily functions are part of life, so how come my mommy's mad? I burp at the table when she scooped in the ladle and a fart on my sister in the bath. Okay, and then there's this one. I just wants to teach kids about racism. The colors of the rainbow in my classroom I do see. I see Hasim, I see Lashonda, and I see little Polly Lee. I see Ahmad, I see German, I see Bob, and I see Running Wolf. I see Stevie, I see Chen, and then we got the Portuguese. Yeah, I see okay, Paolo, okay, Johnny. I see Johnny, Rick. no, I. it's, uh, it's, it. Teach kids about racism. Yeah, they're kind of weird. Don't help me out here. No, I'm going I, on no, national I, no. TV tomorrow. I'm going on. I'm going on the Fun House. The what? It's silly school. You know, Funzo is silly school, Fun House, whatever the hell it's called there. I'm going on that tomorrow national TV. Me on TV. Okay. Okay. Wait, <laughs> wait a sec. That's a. Isn't that a kid show? <laughs> yeah. 
That's why I'm writing kids' music. <laughs> I know you're a big fan of role-playing, okay? And I've actually appreciated that a lot in our time together. What are you talking about? But come on, this is getting a we bit too single wife. Play. This is getting a little too single wife female, okay? This whole Ritu business and the, and, and the wig. So, Mag, let's let okay. it go, okay? Okay, stop calling me Mag, all right? Okay. My name is Ritu. <laughs> really? Okay, well, Ritu, I didn't appreciate the conversation that you had with Mag. Do you remember Ritu when you told me that Mag uh, w w w w was, was cheating? I haven't seen Mag at with... all this week. <sighs> Look, I, I I know what you're up to, okay? And frankly, I, I'm What am I up to? You're really just giving me a headache right now, okay? I'm getting a little tired of this, okay? So what we're gonna do is tonight's rendezvous, tonight's rendezvous is over, all right? And we're gonna go what? home. What? We are gonna go home to Greg, and you're gonna sit no. down with your husband. No. And everything's gonna be okay. You're no. just, just okay. stressed out. No, okay, no. Greg hasn't been around for, for a while now. What are you talking about? No, he was, he was, he was abducted, all right? What? No, he's been replaced by a robot. Yeah, no, you, you you might be right. I mean, Mr. Funzo is a good show. Like, National TV, buddy. Yeah, yeah, opposed to the other, like, crap they do today. I mean, have you been watching these kids' shows? Like, oh, I've seen them. SpongeBob seen them. SquarePants or whatever uh, it's called? Sp it's, Sponge Bath, no pants. It's, it's, it's not even a show anymore. It's a commercial. Yeah. It, it's yeah. a vehicle to sell their product, the merchandising, yeah. like the little dolls themselves. Like, we didn't have that when we were growing up. Sure, no, we had good quality programming, yeah, like I mean, Captain Kangaroo. Yeah, that was good. We had, you know, my name is Simon. Like, he, sure, there was no doll there. for that. Oh, uh, well, you know, was the one, the friendly giant there with the chicken in the bag. I mean, that oh, was good yeah, stuff. Yeah, that, that was a weird chicken, man. In that sure. bag, I don't know what that guy was sure, doing. Sure, I've, I've had nightmares about yeah, that yeah, chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you had Barba, Barba Papa. That's you right. had, like, I mean, those were good entertaining good shows. Programs. Yeah, That's and right. now it's all about the advertising. It's all about the merchandising. Yeah. And it's, to tell you the truth, it's manipulative. I mean, you, you know. Well, hey, I we're mean, all, we're all manipul manipulative. Manipula, manipulable. Manip okay, yeah, I People mean. People can manipulate us. Yeah, well, and especially even 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 right now. I mean, look at the movies coming out. Okay, we have yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. We got Fantastic Four. You yeah. don't think when they were writing that or even pitching that movie, they weren't thinking about the merchandising potential oh, of those know. dolls? They know. I mean, you've seen that big guy, the thing guy with they the, know. the muscles and the yellow head and That's stuff. That's why I never let my daughters go to movies. Still, won't. got two movies at home that they grew up with: Deliverance and Saturday Night Fever. That's it. They don't have dolls for those two flicks, eh? Not yet. Not yet. Now, are we talking about the Princess Leia from Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back, the very prim and proper Princess Leia? Okay. Or are we talking about the sexy vixen uh, Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi, where she's in that little uh, bikini outfit? There? Oh, right. Well, I could always start as the prim and proper Princess Leia, and then end up as a sexy, bikini-clad vixen. Okay. I think I've just died and gone to geek heaven. <laughs> you know, that's going to take a little while. Oh, I, I don't think we can manage. The stages, so uh, why don't you uh, stay over at my place tonight, then? Oh, oh I, I'd love to, but no, I, I can't. What do you mean? Well, I, no, it's just that I, I have to get into work really early. All right, come in with me Take for 8 o'clock. Oh, no, I have to get in for 6 o'clock. Why? I can't seem to get all the work done otherwise during regular business hours. Right. I just think at the very least it's going to open some doors for me. Well, you sure, know, I yeah. mean, producers have kids. Yeah, you could be like a Fred Penner or something. Well, something oh, yeah, like that. Ah, ah. Can I help you? Can I help you? Listen, it's me who can help you, all right? Oh, You've really, really got to lower your expectations, okay? Pardon me. Okay, I'm going to just get everything given to me because somebody's kid is going to be watching television. I'll be a star. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll oh, be no a star. Clue. How I have no clue. This? I have no clue. I've lived it, all right? I had big dreams. I had plans. I was going to rule the world with my amazing <laughs> ideas. But you know what? I had to just realize they were completely unrealistic, what, okay? What, what, who are you, exactly? 
Who am I? My name's Chaz. Chaz Fitzgibbon. Oh, well, it's a real pleasure. Did my father hire you or something? Listen, What's I don't know who on? your father is, but he should have hired me. Just to kind of put some sense in your head, okay? Oh, this is Oh, boy. I'm going to get everything I ever wanted just because I deserve it. Okay, what you is don't your deserve deal? It. Why are you so bitter? Yeah. It's not a why. It's a who. All right? Yeah, I had dreams, and Claire just skated right over them. Hey, as long as you're cool with it. I mean, you know, whatever turns you crank, Johnny. It's, uh, hey. you know, I just didn't think you were into that Come kind on, of thing. Come on, don't blow smoke up my hoo-ha. I know you I, think it's I, a bit I, queer, bot. I, I didn't say it was queer. Hey, listen, listen. I was presented with an opportunity. I took it. I get to be on national television you singing my songs. Right? And I got yeah, my edge yeah. still. Don't think I ain't still sharp as a blade. I got that one song, Give Me Back My Jump Rope, Skank. Hey, you like you, that? No, you can't say skank on a kid's show, Johnny. I don't care. I got to keep my sharp, buddy. No, I'm on TV. I'm doing that. I'm doing your movie. Okay. I'm a superstar. How's that coming, by the way? I know my lines, eh? I know my lines. How's that coming? Not good. I mean, not good. Not good. It's not my movie anymore. It's somebody else's movie. You know, it's a, it's a Hong Kong chop suey wire gag film. It's got nothing to do with the thing that Bone Melter once was. Hey, there's no hey, post-apocalyptic, hey. there's no art flavor to it. Hey, 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 it's probably... It's flash cuts No, and... it's probably a better movie now than, than what you had going on in your head. You're How a commercial... You figure? You're, they... a, you're a commercial director. What do you know about movies? She came in, she helped you, but it's going to be They changed great. the characters, they changed the story, and most importantly, they changed the theme. Okay? I sold out. I sold out on my dreams, and it looks like you're doing the same. Why are you working so much overtime? I don't understand. Oh, well, everything just, uh, just takes a few extra steps. I don't have the clearance that you do, you know? So right. I, have to, I have to requisition for every single form that I need, and that means it has to go through Lester. Right. Uh, which means I have to fill out the forms in the morning and get them all to him by the afternoon. And, you know, right. sometimes even if he takes an hour or two later than he said he would, I mean, you could put me a whole day behind. So, so this way, what I've done is I, I spend the night before deciding ahead of time what information I'm going to need. Oh, and then geez. I just get there really early, and I fill out all my forms so that I can try and get a head start on it. It doesn't always work, but, I mean, it's... It's the best I can do for now. Yeah, but I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you shouldn't have to be working these extra hours just to get clearance. I mean, well, it's just, I know it's it's crazy at work. Right, I mean, you need the proper clearances to get in. It's just the way that things work. You know, I'm new and I uh, yeah. was just recently made full time. So I, I understand it's just going to take longer. Well, you know, I, w I really wish I could help you out. Oh, I, I, know, I know, I know. I'd I know. give you my password if I could, but you know what the company policy is, right? Don't trust anyone. Right. to me. You need to get some help, okay? <laughs> I'm I, I'm, fine. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take you to a hospital or something, okay? Cause no, I'm not going to a hospital. Look, you need professional help, okay? <sighs> have you seen Have you seen somebody about this? Are you taking any medication or anything? Yes, okay. No, I, I, I've been on lots of medication, all right? Yeah. I, I know all about it. I've been off my meds for a month, and I have never, ever had more clarity, okay? Things are great between us. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about the wedding. I don't need to be on meds. Okay, we're, we're, we're going home. Okay, I'm not going. We're going to see Greg now, okay? We're going to see Greg now. I think it's important. I'd like you to do Why that. wouldn't I go see Greg, okay? I'm with you, we're getting married. No, we're not, we're not getting married. We're okay, not getting what are you married. going to say to Greg? What are you going to say to him? Hmm? That you're having an affair with his mentally ill wife? I used to work in the Ice Follies, you know, I used to work managing the Ice Capades, and then for that brief time when they were joined together, called the Ice Capalis. I saw that. And that's a wow. good show, huge. Right. You know, I loved the beauty of the ice, but there had to be something more. This, this figure skating was great, but I wanted more. And then I saw her. Oh, she used to come on after the show was over, and just a few of her friends and her, and they would... They would chase each other around and knock each other down like at the roller derby. Oh, she had the face of an angel and the elbows of a Thai boxer. 
And I knew if I could combine ice figure skating with ice roller derby, I'd have something amazing. And so I took all the money I had and I sold my house and I put it all into this new show and, and she would be the star. Oh. And yeah, she would do her, her figure skating and then break into an incredible roller derby all out elbow smashing battle. With the ice sculptures and animals trained to skate after her, just small ones, rodents, beavers, squirrels, whatever I could get, you know, tease in out of the backyard and train to skate. But that wasn't enough for her. She wanted more. What? Yeah, she wanted bigger animals. And I said, well, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll get you a big animal. And so I said, meet me under the, under the east statues at the Sky Dome and at six o'clock and I'll show you some magic. Well, I waited and I brought a giraffe that I trained to stand upright on skates, which is difficult, friend. No? Even harder when it's got the guards on. It's not easy. And I waited there for for three hours under the East Statue, just looking out at Fort York in the distance, listening to the muskets going off. <laughs> Nothing. And the muskets kept scaring the giraffe. Oh, it was hard. And then finally the giraffe got so restless it had lashed out with one of its back legs and seriously injured a guy who was bagpiping for oh. money. It wasn't good. And so after six hours of standing there with an angry giraffe and a bleeding Highlander, I left her behind me and I said, no more. I'd lost my whole, my whole life, all the money I ever had. And so I started again from the bottom. And I started an extermination company in Thunder Bay called Die Vermin Die. And now I've got 25 different locations across the country and who needs her? Uh, I understand. Yeah. That's life, buddy. You know, somebody throws a swing at you, you roll with it. Yeah. All right, you don't get hit. Yeah. All right, because getting hit hurts. Right. Right. We don't got a choice right now. This is the this is the this is the punch oh, we're, I, we're ducking from. Hey, I, I got a choice. I just don't like it. Well, what's your choice, sir, Hacha? Well, my dad wants me to move back to Calgary and run in the oil business. And you ain't doing it. No. You're an idiot. Oh, I, I'm the idiot. You're the one that's going on national television singing children's songs. Come on. Hey. Hey. What do you want to be, Raffy? Like. <laughs> Raffy, hey, don't knock Raffy. He got a lot of slice, buddy. He got a lot of slice. Oh yeah, right. Okay, okay, whatever. You know what? I just, I just thought you were a rocker. That's it. I, that's, you know. You, you thought I was a rocker? Yeah. You thought I was a rocker? Yeah. I am a rocker, and buddy. And you're gonna do this children's show? Yeah. Okay. So, what are you gonna do? Hey, how are you gonna make your mark? What do you, what are you gonna do so people remember you? This is your only chance. This is national television. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna show those kids. I'm gonna rock those kids. Ah, yeah. I'm sorry, it's, it's not that I don't trust you, I do. It's just company policy and... But it, it's just that I could get fired if... Here's my password. Randy, I don't want you to do anything that you're not comfortable doing. I want to do this. I want to help you out. Are you sure? Yeah. It's Anakin Skywalker 3, spelled backwards. Don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> Who am I going to tell? Thank you. It means a lot to me that you trust me like this. And I do. So, um, now that we've got that cleared up, mm -hmm. uh, do you think you can stay over tonight? Well, it looks like I have some more free time, okay. so... <laughs> Yeah, so I try specialist ways of you know getting rid of rats. I uh, dress up as a rat, lure the rats out of the mm. open, then I club them. Uh, also, I kill rats with other rats. I hit them with them, or I fire them out of a rat cannon. Well, you I probably have a lot of extra rats lying around. Well, when I'm finished with a lot of extra dead rats, all right? You know, I'm thinking about getting into business, too. You know, we have franchise oh, 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 Hold on, hold on. When you were saying your story about when you met that girl, what was her name? Claire. Okay, you said you you were to meet her at the East Statue, right? Yeah. But you said that you saw Fort York. You can't see Fort York from the East Statue. It's from the West Statue that you see Fort York. 
Have I, was I at the wrong statue? Yeah, I bet. I bet She's she right. was there. I bet she was at the other statue. She was there, and I didn't see her. Well, I was pretty preoccupied with the giraffe lashing out and the guy in the kilt. You spent all this time oh being my. bitter when really your life could have oh. been... Oh, oh, hey, hey, stop the train! Whoa. Stop the train! That was the weirdest and most beautiful thing I've ever witnessed. Yeah. Hmm. Good luck to him. Okay, so, honeymoon. I'm thinking Vegas and Hawaii. I sort of narrowed them down. I'm thinking Vegas because the Bellagio is just incredible. Okay, well listen, I may I may end up going to the Bellagio for my honeymoon, but not with you, all right? So what let's are you just, talking come on, about? cut. Come on, just like, look at... Cut this out, please, okay? <sighs> Oof. Okay, you need to chill out, all right? I understand that you're a little bit tense. Uh, okay, okay, you know what? We're going, we're going. What? Grab your no. stuff, we're leaving. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? You need to chill out, all right? I need to chill out. Yes. Now, I understand your confusion, okay? Yeah. Yeah, there are two Ritus. Yes, That there's can be two. confusing. Yes. There's me, and then there's an imposter. And the only solution is, is that I need to get rid of her and everything will be just fine, okay? <laughs> 